Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked to find the derivative of f of x is equal to 1 plus 2x squared times x minus x squared. And we're looking to do this using the product rule and by foiling out performing the multiplication first. So first by doing it with the product rule, the derivative of x is equal to, if we're thinking of this as the first, this is the second thing that is being multiplied, we take the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Going through with this, we have 1 plus 2x squared times the derivative of this is going to be the derivative of x. When you just have x to the first power, the derivative is the coefficient, which is just 1 in that case minus derivative of x squared, bring down the exponent. New exponent is 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So the derivative is 1 minus 2x, plus x minus x squared times the derivative of 1 plus 2x squared. The derivative of 1 is 0, so it's 0 plus whatever this is going to be, so we can just ignore that. But the derivative of this, we get the coefficient out front, bring down the exponent, times x to the 2 minus 1, which is just x to the 1. Now, we can multiply these out and find the simplified version of the derivative. So we have 1 minus 2x plus 2x squared minus 4x cubed. And then this is going to be x. I think this is 4x. 4x times x, we have plus 4x squared minus 4x cubed. Simplifying this, we have minus 4x cubed minus 4x cubed. It's negative 8x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x squared plus 6x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, what we want to do is we want to perform the multiplication first. So, we we'll call this the multiplication method. First of all, f of x is equal to x um, minus x squared plus 2x cubed minus 2x to the fourth. Okay, so the derivative we are going to find by going one by one through all these terms and taking the derivative of each. Again, if you just have a term with x in it, the derivative is just going to be the coefficient, which in this case is the 1, which is always there if there's no coefficient, right? Minus derivative of x squared, bring down the exponent. Subtract 1 for the new exponent, plus 2, bring down the exponent, subtract 1 for the new exponent, minus 2, bring down the exponent, subtract 1 for the new exponent, and simplifying this, we get 1 minus 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6x squared, minus 2 times 4 is 8x cubed. And this is equivalent to this, even though they're in slightly different orders, that's just the way it worked out, they are equivalent. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.